Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, thanks again for checking out another Toy Photography Basics video. So I'm sure you've seen me or plenty of other toy photographers using wires in their photos. You look at their behind the scenes and there's a wire right in the middle of it. And then when you see the photo, there's no wire. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, one of the most common questions I probably get is, where does the wire go? How does the wire disappear? How are you making the wire go away? So I'm going to just quickly go over the kind of wire I use, uh, briefly go over how I use it, and I'm going to spend a little bit of time going over how I remove the wire, or how you can remove your wire from your toy photos. So I'm going to go over a few different ways to remove the wires. One way is going to be with Adobe Photoshop, and the other way is going to be without Adobe Photoshop. So if you don't have Adobe Photoshop and you just want to edit right on your phone, stick around to the end of the video. That's when I will be going over how to do that. So the kind of wire that I do use uh, is a 16 gauge all-purpose wire. It's pretty simple stuff. Uh, I got it at my local Lowe's uh, hardware store. Really great. Actually wasn't too expensive and I've been working and using this one roll of wire for years now and I haven't run out yet. So I'm going to have the exact same type of wire linked in the description of the video. So if you want some wire, you want the same stuff I use, just go to the description, click on the link and you can get the same stuff right there. So before I get into it, my YouTube app says that 82% of people watching my videos are not even subscribed. So first of all, thank you for watching, and if you're not subscribed, that's okay, that's cool, but, but subscribing would be amazing, not just for me, but for you too, because I got tons and tons of more tutorials coming. Please consider subscribing, that would be awesome. <laughs> so for today's photo, I'm using uh, about this much wire, just like this, uh, and I'm actually kind of propping in the tip of the wire here inside of the jetpack of this Mandalorian black series figure and it kind of sticks in there pretty well. So I'll pretty much always be trying to stick the wire in some little divot or crevice or joint hole in the figure and usually you can find a pretty good spot and lodge it in there and it will stay in pretty well. And uh, once you find that spot it will also make editing quite a bit easier as well. But in the past if you can't find a spot I would have also maybe just like wrapped up the wire around the, the, the figure's waist or something uh, and that seemed to work well too but it made editing a little bit easier so try to find a little bit of uh, a little crevice somewhere to stick the wire in and that will make your life much easier then afterwards I kinda of placed a bunch of snow on top of the little uh, base of the wire so there's a little more weight holding it down so it stayed firm on in the ground usually in the summer or a warmer time of the year I would just use a little bit less wire and just stick it directly in the ground if possible because that makes things much easier. Uh, it's already got a lot of stability that way but it's cold and the ground is pretty much frozen so I couldn't really do that so usually in the winter I'll make a little circular base like this and then use some snow or sometimes a rock to hold it on there and it works pretty well. And if you want any more examples or ways I kind of use the wire to keep the figure standing that kind of thing I have a couple tutorials that might help with that uh, I have a keep your figure standing tutorial and I also have a posing tutorial that has quite a bit of examples of how I'm applying the wire to the figure so definitely check those out they'll be in the description also and they'll be linked in the video here too so after I had this guy all set up I took a bunch of other photos with some snow and sparklers to add some different effects but I'm not gonna focus on that right now because we're worried about the wire and how to take that out so let's go over how I remove it using Photoshop so we got our main photo right here our man Lorraine is jumping up and there's a wire uh, right over here that we're going to try to remove So what we're going to be using to take this wire out is our clone tool, which is right over here. And so what the clone tool does is it basically copies another part of the photo where you're painting. So if you hold Alt on your keyboard, you get this little target and you can choose where you want to copy. After you choose, you can pretty much just draw and copy anywhere you want, just like this. I copied all that snow onto the snow over here. So I'm going to make my brush size a little bigger really quick and then I'm going to copy different parts of the photo over the wire to basically just make it disappear. The plus sign over to the right here is actually indicating exactly where I'm copying which is very useful to use while you're painting.
So as we go up a little bit, the wire is actually getting close to the figure's leg. So I got to be a lot more precise. So I'm going to make my brush a bit smaller. I really don't want to paint over the leg or do anything that's going to make the picture look bad, you know. Then it's really good to just take your time, change your target points, change your brush sizes, pay attention to everything in the background to make sure everything matches, and just make everything look seamless. And I'm sure if I didn't position the wire quite so close to his leg, all of this would have been so much easier. But, you know, you live and learn. Then after the wire is totally gone, I like to go back with a bigger brush and just copy some bigger pieces over some of the lines I painted just to smoothen things out to make sure it looks good. Then after that, uh, the wire is gone and that's it. And if you're wondering how I edit in my special effects and all that kind of thing, I also have a full tutorial on my editing and my layering and Photoshop and all that good stuff. So make sure you check that video out as well. I'll have it linked in the description below. Okay, awesome. Removing wires are not that bad. But let's say you're using a figure that has a stand that came with it or something that's a little bit bigger that keeps the figure standing. Like so with this figure arts Grogu on the little pod, it comes with this little clear stand, which is really cool, but sometimes when you're using things that are a little bit bigger to remove, the clone tool isn't quite so effective. So I'm going to go over a couple different ways to make that process a little bit easier as well. So after you take your photo and you're happy with it, don't completely take everything down yet. Take your figure out and then take another photo without the figure in it. So everything else is still there, but the figure and the stand and everything is gone because it's going to make things much easier in editing later. Okay, so we got our photo right here of sweet little baby Grogu. And we also got our photo without him. So stand, no stand. Now we're going to take the lasso tool, draw a big circle over the photo without the figure. And this is going to be generally around where the stand was in the other photo. Then we're going to copy it, control C, and then paste it over here in the other photo. Then we're going to move it down over to where it needs to be. Then we're going to go over and grab the eraser tool. And we're going to check on the brush up here to make sure that the hardness is pretty low. We want to have some pretty soft edges so nothing's too harsh when we paint over. Then we're going to basically just erase around the edges to make it fit in the way it should. Then voila, he's all done. Okay, awesome. That looks pretty good. But let's say you go and you take your photo, you go inside, you're gonna go start editing, and you're like, Duh, I forgot to take another picture without the stand. Because uh. that happens to me all the time where I take the photo and then I forget to do the second photo without the figure in it, and then I gotta figure something else out in editing. But there's another way to do it if you forget. So the first thing to do is to just draw a little box around the stand using your lasso tool. Awesome. Then we're going to go all the way up to edit and we're going to click on the content aware fill. This thing is awesome. All of the green here is what Photoshop is going to try to use to mimic the photo and put inside of our box that we made. So we don't want any of going here. We really just want some of the fog in the background. So that's why I'm erasing some of this here. After that, then hit OK and boom, it'll do it all for you. Photoshop will actually make the content aware fill into its own filter. So if you do need to go back and just erase a couple little pieces, you can, which is awesome. All right, so if you don't have Photoshop, which is totally reasonable because uh, it is a little bit pricey, and you just want to do some editing right on your phone after you take your picture, this part is for you. So what I want you to do is go to your app store and download a free app called Photoshop Fix. It's another Adobe product, but it's totally free and you can do it on your phone. All right, so open up the app, open up the photo you're gonna edit, and I want you to go right over to the healing section. It's got a little Band-Aid on it. Click on healing, and then right from there, you can kind of just start drawing in with your finger, and Photoshop will kind of just do it for you and just totally fix everything. 
Uh, you can change the size of the, your brush, which will be easier if you're getting it to smaller places. And you can kind of just paint it out just like that and then it's gone and then you're all set. And that will probably take you a minute to do that just using this app. It's a really super easy app to use. All right, I hope you guys thought this uh, tutorial was helpful. Using wires and removing them is such a huge, huge thing. I use wires with almost every single photo. Make sure to check the description of the video for some of the gear in the video like the wire, uh, some discounts on Atmosphere Aerosol and on LumCube. Really, really good stuff also used in the video. So make sure to check those out as well and save some money also. You guys know where to find me and my work, SirDork730 on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just about everywhere. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. See ya.